Hi, this is Presh Talaker. Let's discuss Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe and how the first player always has a winning strategy. Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe is a game I described in a previous video. You should watch that video first to understand the rules. In this video, we're going to describe the winning strategy. So X first plays in the center of the center square. This will force O to play somewhere in one of the center squares. Now, wherever O plays, X should respond by taking the center of that square. So O plays the middle right, X should respond by playing the center. This will force O to be in the center again, and wherever O picks, X will again respond by picking the center. What X is doing here is giving up the center square of the large 3x3 three three grid, but in return, capturing the center squares of most of the smaller 3x3 three three grids. For O's last move, you do not want to play the center. What you want to do is mimic the same strategy and force O to play in the same square wherever O had sent you. So in this case, O should be limited to play in the middle left. Now, O may play the center square in this, in which case you should play the opposite square. So you were playing the middle left, you should play on the middle right now. So you can, again, force O to be back to the middle left. So you continue capturing, not only have you captured the center of most square, of most of these small 3x3 three three grids, you are now capturing the middle left. At some point, you may not be able to send O back to the middle left. So then you repeat the strategy a third time. You've completed a th uh, three in a row, and now you have the middle right. At this point, O is trapped. Wherever, you, wherever O has to play, you can continue to win any of these squares and get three in a row. So one by one, O is going to send you to squares. You can always complete a three in a row and force O back to the middle right. And eventually O will have to capitulate. You will get a three in a row in each of these squares. You'll win these big squares and therefore you will win the entire game. So if you play this strategy, you can always win. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, and you can get my books at Amazon.